here is the core values worksheet where you will do your core values. Um, the first thing to do is take the core value test, which is at this link. And when you take that test, it would give you a report. And part of that report is going to show this diagram here. The parts of this diagram I want you to focus on are five, six, and seven. And just below this diagram, it will give you an explanation of what those values are that represent five, six, and seven. One, two, three, and four are very important values. They're not lesser values. But five, six, and seven are going to be the values that are going to impact you when it comes to your interaction uh, with other people. So you'll watch the video on the core values that we have on our platform. Uh, the second thing, again, is I would like for you from the common good section, which is the common good section, um, focus on values five, six, and seven. As you see here, there's four of them. But I would like you to consider picking uh, only four maximum, sometimes, you, or, or three to four. Some people will get five or six or seven of these uh, blue dots here, which means they have multiple things they value. And I, if that's the case, pick the ones that mean the most to you. And again, for now, please ignore uh, from four on down. Then for each one of these values, I have four uh, open spaces here, write a few sentences to explain what those values mean to your company. For example, one of Headway's values was collaboration. And so I didn't just put the word collaboration. I wrote, what does that mean? And from that word collaboration uh, came harmonious partnerships. And here's the value. Headway knows that it's challenging to create a meaningful and impactful change by yourself. That is why we seek to partner with dedicated individuals business organizations and nonprofits committed to the positive growth and enrichment for all involved parties. So from that value of collaboration came these few sentences that described harmonious partnerships. Good luck.